Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. Thanks to the viewers leaving comments and if you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing and leaving the comments below. I'm covering two stories that are probably not going to be on national attention because they don't fit the current mass media color culture. What I mean is that because there aren't white people doing crimes against PLCs, the national media won't be covering these stories like they usually do. I'm not going down the race dividing narrative. Instead, I'm just going to give you my feedback. Man, 29, is arrested for shooting dead mother of six in road rage incident after her husband accidentally cut him off while he was merging lanes. Dwayne Floyd, 29, was charged with first degree murder and discharging a weapon into occupied property. Julie Elberly, 47, and her husband Ryan Elberly were driving down Interstate 95 headed to the beach vacation. While driving their car unknowingly came too close to Floyd's vehicle while merging into another lane. Floyd then allegedly rolled down his window and fired multiple shots into the passenger door, one of which struck and killed Julie Eberly. People, you have to learn to control your anger. If you lash out in anger, the consequences for yourself and others could be a matter of life and death. In this case, a man decides to shoot into another car for what is being called road rage. There are always two sides to the story, and the worst thing you can do is act out of anger. You should never resort to violence. Unfortunately, in the case of driving, we see this way too often. Driving is one of those activities that can stress us out quickly and tempers can flare. I suggest you remember that everyone can make mistakes. More and more people are on their phones while driving, and the best thing to do is just smile it off and take a breather. I know that's not always easy, but this guy is now facing years of legal troubles. A few seconds of anger can change the rest of your life and others around you. If you remember to smile and let it go, you might make this world a better place for everyone. In the second story, it says, Gunman is seen brandishing a gun inside office building where he shot dead four people, including a nine-year-old boy. As it is revealed, he knew all his victims and had been living out of a motel. Ambi Dad Gonzalez, 44, from Fulton, was named as a suspect in the shooting on Thursday. Police say a nine-year-old boy shot dead was found in the arms of a woman who was critically injured. The massacre, which left four people dead and two injured, took place at 5.30 p.m. at the office block in Orange. The victims are said to have either personal or business relationship with alleged shooter. Cops arrived to live gunfire and at least one officer shot at the suspect who was injured and taken to hospital. It is the third mass shooting in two weeks after the Atlanta spot attack and the Boulder Grocery Massacre. After watching hours of the TV series the first 38 hours, I've learned that in the majority of shooting, the suspect and victims know each other or has some kind of common connection. Though we still don't have all the details, the article says they knew each other on some level. It really sucks that the media wants to scare the audience and push this mass shooting narrative. It could be for ratings, more gun control laws, or basically because they get more advertising dollars. Regardless, I believe the media should be focusing on the root cause of the situations, which in my opinion is mental health and behavior. If we would start to do a better job in these two areas, I believe many of the shootings could be avoided and probably even resolved without violence. I'll say it again, you should never resort to violence in any situation that doesn't involve your own personal safety. Sometimes bad things happen to good people and in these two cases, I hope justice is served. My prayers go out to everyone involved and affected in these two incidents. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.